Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we completed the last trial, the last Silent Realm trial, and we got the Stone of Trials. It's proof that we overcame all the trials set before you. It opens the way to the Triforce somehow. So we'll be finding how about eh. We'll be finding out how to do that at the end of this episode. But right now, I am going to be showing, I know this is kind of a weird episode, but I didn't get to cover this during the LP, so I feel like it should be covered now. I'll be showing all of the households and talking to people that I haven't talked to and have and households I haven't shown during the LP. So, I will commence that, and after we are all done with those, we will be doing the last side quest, transforming Batro into a human, and also opening the way to the way to the way to the way of to the Triforce. So, let us commence with the places, and I will be cutting between them. So, yeah, because I don't, I even, I don't even know all of the places that we've missed. So, let them commence a second time. So, first off, is in the bazaar, there are two things you can do, and in the, uh, in the restaurant, I'm not sure what this is called, we can talk to her. Next, dash of pepper. Delicious, another culinary delight ready to be savored and enjoyed. I really like the feel of this, I wish you could get, like, soup or something, but you can't. At least not that I know of, but I don't know. I don't think you can scoop this or anything, but what you can do is sit down here, <laughs> it, se it seems like you're on the road to success, little friend. How about I buy you a bre uh, buy us a beverage? Sure, thanks. Here, there's a good lad. Cheers. And if we had heart damage, it would heal us. That's the stuff. There we go. Listen here. Listen. Here's a little information you may find useful. Are you using those stamina potions they're selling over at the bazaar? It, it's great stuff. Drink some of that, and your stamina gauge doesn't empty out so fast. And it's not just for running, either. You can do spin tacks without getting tired so easily. I suggest you carry one around in case you tangle with something big and nasty. Like the imprisoned. That's really nice. I'm gonna see if he says anything else. Stop by and chat with, with me once, once in a while, you hear? I may be old, but I'm not boring. Um cool thing about him is in the Hyrule Historia, it shows some kind of concept art of every character in Skyloft. Now, his is actually interesting because he was just meant to be like sort of a random bystander, but the cool thing about him is that he is actually the father or grandfather? I think father of the knight, knight number A. Night no number A is the one that will save us in the daytime when we fall off Skyloft. So he is his father. Now you can come, you can come talk to him all throughout your adventure, and he will tell you different stuff. It's really actually very useful to get quote unquote gossip. Also, you can get fully healed by just sitting down. So it's actually really nice if you're dropping by. Now for this guy. Let's sit down and talk to him. You looking to get your grub on? The food here is so good. You gotta be patient though. It seems like you you wait forever for anything around here. Good things take time, sir. So, yeah, that is the culinary area, which is actually really nice because you have kind of the herbs growing here and herbs growing up here and soups and stuff. If there's virtual reality, I'd love to taste this food, because I'm a huge f fan of food and games, and real life. Okay, on to the next place. Oh, also, Sparrow, I am saving for later. I have not forgotten him, I'm just saving him for later. Okay, on to the next one place is... Now, if you come to Piper's house at nighttime you will be able to talk to her in a more private setting. The Piper is the one that makes the food for the culinary area, so let's talk to her. Hmm, hmm, another day, another tasty soup. 
So she's cooking, not much to say. She's always baking, or cooking in some sort. Before you guys suggest a stereotype, man, she's a professional chef. It's different. Also, I have never seen her husband, so she's a single mom, and yeah, so she's working, okay? Don't talk about the stereotypes. Is that you, Link? What are you doing up so late? I, I have Gohan's voice from Dragon Ball Z. I'm hungry. My mom's still cooking, but it's taking forever. When will it be ready? So, yeah. This is Goalie, by the way. Yeah, mischievous boy, son of Piper, a food researcher. Okay, so she's not just a chef. She researches food. And he has an, an interest in insects. Okay, sweet, cool. On to the next place! Now, this door, right here, this holds the item shop owner. There, his house, although I always think that he looks like a she. Uh, what's your name again? Rupin, aka Rupee. There we go. A crafty salesman, and once again, you have to be here at nighttime. During the day, he sells a variety of items at his gear shop in the bazaar. During the night, he buys treasures, but only the treasures he has decided to buy on that night. This is what you can do with treasures after you've upgraded everything. Also, oh, I thought you could get money in here. Okay, never mind. Now, let's talk to him. Rupin, what are you doing? Ah, hey, what do you need? You want to do some shopping? Just come back to the shop tomorrow. Can we talk to you, please? Um, so when you say, um, that means you don't have a re good reason to be here, huh? What? You think I'm being gruff? You think I'm totally, uh, I'm totally different during the day? Well, I get tired of having to be a, a smiley shopkeeper all day, all right? I just don't think this is the real me. Anyway, enough about that. You're here to make some money at my night market, am I right? Um, night is black, so... Black market? Ah, it's your first time here, isn't it? Ah, oh, well. Night is when I do my buying. See, I buy treasure. And that's not to say I'm just, I'll just i buy any old thing. I only deal in specific types of treasure. Right, let's get on with this, shall we? This is very shady. Well, today I'm buying these treasures. Hornet larva, Elden ore, Jelly Blob, Evil Crystal. I will sell some of my Jelly Blobs. Jelly Blob. Hmm, how many rupees can I offer for each Jelly Blob? Does 30 rupees for each Jelly Blob. Oh man, oh baby, whoa. Um, uh, you know what? I know this may seem foolish, but... Uh, actually, I'll sell five. Five. I don't want to sell all of them. Uh, the old jelly blob deal, eh? You got five of them? 150 rupees for five jelly blobs. Wow. Okay, so you can really make money with this. Also, if he isn't selling the things that you want, just go ahead and sleep in his rupee bed and... And uh, sleep until nighttime again, and he will be selling different things. Also, this is these are red rupees, and I've been ignoring this person far too long. Is this your wife or your mom? I love to collect antiques, you know. All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't break anything. Who is this? Gacella. And she's a bit of a demanding lady. She is the mother of the great of, of the gear peddler, Rupin. Okay, so mother. She hates house house cleaning but adores antiques. I recommend keeping a safe distance from her. Oh, fee. I love you. You have such a good sense of humor. You know what? Um I don't steal from the rich and give to the poor. I break what the rich have and let it stay at that. No! How could you? You broke my antique! That's it, you break it, you buy it! Let's see now, that was a very expensive antique, so about 20 rupees should suffice. 
What's that look for? Do you think I'm just making that number up? That's ridiculous. I know the value of every item in my possession. I intend to be com compensated in full. Next time that happens, we're going to have words. Didn't we just have words? Also, I didn't break one of your antiques. I kind of broke all of them. Well, can I break these? Yes, I can. Those cannot be antiques. <laughs> you! Did I do something horrible to you in a past life? What are you? Why are you punishing me like this? That's funny. That was a very valuable item. So you're going to have to pay me 30 rupees or so. Wow. Okay, can we break this? No, how could you? Okay, did she just have us pay 30 rupees again? Wait. Only 10? Oh, because we only broke one thing. Okay. Okay. Can I break anything more in your house? I've spent a long time in here. More than I should. Okay, I'm sorry. On to the next place. Horwell. Now, this isn't actually anything really unique. I'm just talking to him because we haven't talked to him in the past. So, Horwell. I keep my distance from Mia at night. There was that one time when she snuck into the academy after nightfall. I recommend that you be extra careful when you go out at night. Oh dear, that caused quite a commotion. So, that is it. I'm purposefully avoiding Alan for the time being. Now, to Stritch's room, where we will enter and see what he has to offer, because this is actually very important and it is a very easy way, way to make money. And I can sit on his couch, which looks comfortable. I can see into Groose's room. Anyway, Stretch. Link, you want to hear something neat? Okay, so earlier in the night, I went back into the ca in those caves behind the waterfall. I saw some blessed butterflies in this empty area. I wonder why they're swarming around that spot. Weird, right? Huh. That That's actually a good tip. We might do that. If there's anything there, I will go there. Okay. If you see them for yourself, you should go into the caves at night. It is night. All right, let's see what kind of bugs you have for me today. I'm not sure if I've shown this earlier, but it it makes sense. Uh, I don't want to sell those. I will wait. I'll keep sleep. Oh, pun. I'm going to keep sleeping here until he sells what I want him to sell. Then I will show it because that is a very easy way to grind for money. Oh, there it is. Okay, Deku Hornet. He wants to buy a Deku Hornet, a Sand Cicada, and an Elden Roller. I want to sell. A Deku Hornet. Deku Hornet. For one of those, he will... One! Oh, well, that wasn't as good as I thought. But if there, there are some parts in this area, and he'll be seeing us, there are certain parts in the game where, you know, you can kind of grind for bugs. Certain areas, so if you do that and come back to him, you can make a lot of money. So it's potentially infinite amount of money if you find a good method of doing it. So, that's pretty neat. And now I think that that is the last of the things we have to do. I believe that we have nothing more to do. So, let us go up to Alan because he has the last quest for us. And he's right here. Alan, I love your room. How are things, Link? Is everything going well? If there's anything else you need, don't hesitate to come talk to me. I am your instructor, after all. Oh, well, maybe I've talked to him today. Let's try that. Get away from me, dumb fly. Get away from me. Go. Fly. Buzz off. That worked. There. I swatted the fly. Dumb thing. It's really bugging me. Okay. Ormus. Oh, Link. Where? How did it go? Were you able to hear what Levius had to say? I see. I was right then. There is something special about you. I have feeling that I have feeling you and that vibrant loft wing of yours will be just fine. The road ahead of you certainly won't be a smooth one, but don't lose faith. Ahem. By the way, would you be willing to listen to a little request of mine as well? I'm sure you are aware. I'm an eminent authority on plant collecting on Skyloft, if I do say so myself. 
But you see, I've begun to fear that I've collected everything I can hope to collect. My plant collection now features every known species. Wow. I've, sp I've started wondering if, in light of your travels, there isn't somewhere you might, you might be able to discover something new for me. What do you think? Would you be willing to look, look for a new plant species for me? Maybe something exotic. The, uh, the kind that would turn a few heads? Are you trying to get a girl? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Aha! I knew you'd be willing to help me out, Link. I'm truly sorry to trouble you, but please try to bring me something rare. Something no one will have seen before. Oh, Fee. Your dowsing ability can be calibrated to locate the plant that this person seeks. However, if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, that target will be removed when you switch to the target. Do you wish to set this plant as your current dowsing target? Yes, I do! Understood, Master. I will set the plant in question as your current dowsing target. There it is. It's very pretty. It actually... Wait. I wonder... Huh. I wonder if possibly... No... Would that work? Certainly not. I'm wondering if maybe the Tree of Life back in the past might work. I will cut to that. As soon as I'm there, I will cut to the Pharaon region, and we will see if the Tree of Life will work. Okay, now that we're here, let's see if we can take the Sprout. No, we cannot. So I guess this isn't the plant species he wants. Or I guess we can't take it because it would change the future. Also, I'm chopping it up. <laughs> okay. So let's go back into the, into the present and see what else this forest has in store for us. Okay, while following the, di the dowsing readings, which, which lead us into Faron Woods... I did realize that I've never shown what happens if you climb these vines and go into this tunnel. At least I don't I don't believe I have. So in the in the spirit of showing things we haven't shown before, let's go ahead and push this and this will lead us to the great pit. So, that's pretty neat. I never showed that before, so you've been shown. Now, off to where the dowsing readings lead us. Get away from me, stupid. Get! Why? Get away from me. <sighs> Seriously, fly. Okay, our dousing readings lead us this way, so let's pause and go this way. Um, let's go as far as we can this way while dousing. Uh, we cannot go up here. So snap, that's not an option. Instead, we have to go around. I'm showing this because this is the last few times we're going to be seeing some of these areas, so... I'd like to show them one last time. So, this way... Okay, that way. Up the hill. Up the hill? Yes, up the hill, okay. Run up the hill, avoiding the Quadrababa, grab the Stamina Potion, or Stamina Fruit. And let's go up here. Whoa, we're really close, okay. There's some sort of plant this way. Down there. Up here. Where is it leading us? This way. Whoa. So we can't go around, so we have to go in that tree. Snap. Uh, no, the, no, we we made a shortcut with the log, so we can just jump down and jump up. Okay, good. I, I didn't want to have to go climb that rope again. So it's leading us down here, and it's this Kikwi. Oh, okay, Kikwi, what's up? Why are you hiding? Oh, hello again, Quirk. I've been hiding so long my shoulders are stiff. D 
poor thing. Oh, I could have said what shoulders. Aw, oh, man. I, for I didn't see that. Man, that's right, Kui. Sitting in one spot all the time, never knowing what danger is going to come along. Kook, you can't know what it's like. Everyone seems happy that peace has returned to the forest, but I don't believe it for one second. Ku Kaku! There's no way I'm going to give up and come out of hiding. Not uh, not now, not ever. Ki whoop! Uh, I, I'm giving him robot sounds. But sometimes I wonder, Kipi, isn't there somewhere peaceful I can live without fear? Without having to hide? I can help. Oh, that's fantastic news, Kukaru. I want you to take me there as soon as you can. I can verify that with only 40% accuracy that this person is a plant. However, Owlin's field of study includes cataloging unidentified plant species. We can take this creature to Skyloft using the robot. Would you like me to call him? Sure. Yes, Master. I will signal the, robo the robot with telepathic transmission. Here he is, oh yeah! Let's see if he'll be nice to us. Since this is the last time we're ever going to have to use him. Or have his assistance, not use him. Mr. Sfee! I hope you weren't waiting long. Bzzzat. Do you want me to carry this? Zorbar. Move it! Move it! Zorbar. Forcing me to tell you this every time reduces my overall efficiency. Bzzzard! <sighs> well, I could wish, but... This is the last time we're ever going to be using him, so I guess, yeah, we can appreciate this because he's not going to be mean to us anymore because we're never going to see him again. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. Uh, bye, Scrapper. I'll be right there. Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and carry the Kikwi to its destination quickly. Okay, let's go. Uh, how do we go? Oh, we have to use the vine, man. I don't like using no vines. Well, unless they're Twizzlers, or red vines. Those are the best vines to use. And... Whip. There. Okay, let's go this way. There are no Eminis. Just this one Kikwi. I'm curious to know the name of the Kikwi that we got, because I'm... I don't think it's Urla. I think it's Olo? Ulo? We'll see when we get up there. Okay, I will meet you over at Owlin's room. Be right there. Oh yeah, I forgot. I Whenever I carry things like this, I always like to show it. So, yeah, I'm not cutting there. Okay? I do like showing... Scrapper carrying things just because it is. Whoa, where'd it go? <gasps> Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> what? Where is he? Seriously, where? Okay, don't leave me. That. Okay, whatever. Scrapper's really needs an oil change now. I need to talk to uh, Gondo about that. Okay. So here we are. Let us go inside. We'll activate a cutscene. No. Maybe when you approach Oramis's room. Will it? Let's see. Oramis is over here. Here. Because it has the plants. There he is, standing in the same exact place. And the funny scene. I've come bearing the unusual kick we and drop him on his face. Or not. Well, I guess that was on his face. Zzzzting! If you should have need of me again, just call. Zrrr. Well, I guess he was nice there. I don't think he said if he needs use of me, I, he said you. So, I guess he, he did part in peace after all. This is. This is. Unbelievable! You found me an entirely new plant species. It's precisely what I wanted. Merry Christmas, Ormus. Hmm, fascinating. 
Should this actually be classified as flora or fauna? I mean, plant and animal. You know, this may, this may very well mark the discovery of a new type of species altogether, you think? Oh, how incredible! The world is still f is still full of new plants waiting to be discovered. Sorry, let me try that again. The world is still full of new plants waiting to be discovered, isn't it? I can barely contain my excitement. Yeah, just wait till you see Pikmin. Oh, Link, you have no idea what this means to me. Thank you so much. I'll t take great care of this plant, life form, whatever it is. You should be, uh, if you, uh, wow, I'm reading horribly. If you should happen across any more interesting specimens, be sure to let me know. The last five gratitude crystals. Batra will be very happy to see us. You got five gratitude crystals, and yes. And does it say that we have all of them? I mean, it does, but does it have a special text box? No, it doesn't. So, I will meet you next to Batro's house, and we will see what he has to say. Before we do just that, I forgot to talk to... Ulo. Ulo. I forgot to talk to him. Okay. Ulo. This guy here says people will probably be surprised when they see me, because I don't look like a plant. Kui? So in the meantime, Q Kalu, I've been told to sit here and not move a leaf. This isn't any different from my life in the forest, Kui. It'll... It'll be better. Okay, Batros. No! No! Oh my word! Whoa! That was an excellent save from Walls of Text. That was amazing. Okay. Let's go to Batros without falling off the area. Whew. Huh. <sighs> that was... I'm not going to say lucky, but it was very fortunate that that board was there. Now. Batro. We have everything. Oh my, you've gathered 80 gratitude crystals! If I'm not mistaken, that's all the gratitude crystals in the whole wonderful world. Thank you, thank you ever so much. Also, in post of the episode where I had mentioned that Batro should have a goatee, I realized that he actually does. Just look at his chin, he has a goatee. So neat. Please accept this final gift with all of my gratitude. You got the Tycoon Wallet! No wallet can match the carnivorous capacity and luxurious quality of this one. It can store a jaw-dropping 9,000 rupees. This is an embarrassingly, embarrassingly small token of my gratitude, but I hope it will be useful to you. Oh dear, with this, I now have all the gratitude crystals I require to become human. I wonder if it'll really if I'll really be able to make the transformation. My heart is a flutter. Let's see. It's ah uh, ah. Uh. Gra! Doritos. No. He's a human ish. Um uh well, how do I look, my dear friend, Link? Uh... Not... Great. Great, Batro. Oh, you you needn't even say it. I can tell from the look of f sheer astonishment on your face. My appearance has changed so much dramatically since uh, you've struck a... Uh, my appearance has changed so dramatically you've been struck speechless, haven't you? Haven't you? Allow me to tell you this. There's simply no word in your language to describe how grateful I am for your help. I am deeply touched. From now on, I plan to live happily with everyone else. Not as a monster, but as any other person. Well, I'm glad that he's a human. But, uh... Sorry to say this, bud, but... <sighs> Never mind. I won't break it to him. Bye. <laughs> You're gonna stay in here? No, definitely not. Okay, now to show what happens after you fix Batro. 
One thing you'll notice upon me coming up the ladder, climbing up the ladder, is once I do it. Okay. Climb up the ladder. Climb, climb, climb. Okay. Almost there. There it is. Okay. That. There isn't a jelly blob here. Yes, that's all of the chain. No. There's more. No keys. No keys. No enemies. And. Oh! Look. All of the remlets are fixed. Well, not not fixed, but they aren't hostile anymore. Look at him. Or her. And look what Fee says. Target lock, remlet. At night time, these small animals dwell in Skyloft. Due to Batro's transformation into a human, they no longer exhibit ex ugh, aggressive tendencies at night. So... They're all cute and cuddly. They don't want to kill us. And, in fact, that one doesn't want to kill us either. And there are no keys. There are no enemies at the night time. Look. They're all happy. Come on. Come on. Oh, also, I never showed. If you do this, they will move their heads to where you put the harp. Yeah. So yeah. And they'll also meow, meow to you. So yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to take one with me. And I am going to show yet another thing. I'm sorry for all the showing things this episode, but it's necessary because the egg, the game is drawing to a close. Also, whoa. Oris is, I mean, uh, Horwell is out here. Horwell. Look, Link. Through, uh, though night has come, Mia exhibits none of the nocturnal aggressiveness we've come to expect in Remlets. It's just amazing. Yes, it is. And now you have two. Enjoy. So, what I want to show is the cave. If there's anything in there, I will show it. If not, I will cut to us putting the stone. Actually, no. I'll cut to show where Batro is in the daytime. Then I will set the stone where it should be set. There are no enemies in here, which is really nice. Although now you can no longer get the jelly blobs easily, but hey, beggars can't be choosers and all the enemies are gone, so that's neat. Now, there are a bunch of butterflies here. If you play your harp, there will be a gossip stone, but this one is different. He doesn't give you a treasure, as you just see. However, hey there, friend. What luck you have. You've just stumbled upon me, the infamous moonlight merchant. Don't ask me. How, don't ask how I get my wares, because I'm not telling. If there's a, a rare bobble or two you've been trying, you've been dying to get your hands on, I might know a stone who knows a stone who can get them for you for a price. But, be, but, but before you go whipping out your rupees, you should know my wares carry, carry a hefty price tag. People who come to me don't uh, usually don't like collecting treasure on their own, or simply can't manage to collect what they need. You sure this is for you? Yes, it is. Excellent. So tell me, what kind of treasure are you in the market for? You can get goddess plumes, bird bluebird feathers, golden skulls, or other. Something else, huh? Do any of these pique your interest? Monster horns, dusk relics, e or evil crystals, or other. Sorry, friend, but that's all I have. Okay. So we're going to actually buy one thing so I can show the price. Yes, I am. I am looking for a goddess plume. One goddess plume coming right up. That'll be just 200 rupees, friend. It sounds okay. And we have a deal. Here's your not-at-all-shady treasure. And it will be in a treasure chest. It won't, they won't just give it to you. That's what this little raised platform is for. Just for treasure chests that are given to you by the Moonlight Merchant. And just like he said, there's a goddess plume in here. So... 
really neat that this is how you can get up to 99 goddess plumes and all those other rare treasures so conceivably you could get 99 of every treasure now i will cut to what batro is doing in the daytime and then we will end it off Hey, you're probably just wondering why I just flew down from the sky. Well, I just re I just finished recording something that will be used after the LP is finished. So, you will be seeing that then. So, let's go ahead and go into the bazaar. And Batro will be in the bazaar. This is probably such a bit great experience for him. Because, you know, he, he wanted to live amongst the humans. But now, and now he can. Hey. Batro, how are you? You should change your name. Oh, good day, Link. I, I simply can't thank you enough for all your help. I'm overjoyed. For so long, I wondered what it would be like to casually stroll through the bazaar, and here I am. And look around. The best part is no one is screaming in horror. That's nice. What does Fee say about him now? His name is Batro, and he is a kind-hearted person. All the gratitude crystals you, that, you, that, you, that you helped collect helped him turn from a demon into a human. But he still has an innocent heart, which endears him to children. Hmm. I think he'll be a good addition to Skyloft. Let's see. Do they say anything? No, they don't. Okay, I thought they were going to say, who's that weird guy over there? No? Okay. Well, we already solved that a long time ago. Oh. What? Calling out for toilet paper when you're stuck in a restroom? Yikes, that's rough. I should know. I've been there before. <gasps> oh, that's funny. So we told him what happened. Okay. Now, that is going to be it for this episode, except for one thing. It, so, I release Skyward Sword episodes Tuesdays, Thursday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And Saturdays, I try to make long episodes, meaning that next episode will be long. Unless I kept lost track of days again. And in which case, I'm sorry. Now, the episode isn't quite over yet. I'm going to be showing you what happens if you put the Stone of Trials into the bird statue. Let's do this, shall we? There is the bird statue. And it has the Stone of Trials in it. I kind of spoiled that. But yeah, there's the second Stone of Trials in the statue. You can see it. And it's missing an eye. Very early on in the LP, I, one of the first few, the first three episodes, I think it was episode two, there was a man standing here. I'm not sure if we talked to him, but he said that the stone, the stone statue is missing an eye. It'd be really nice if we found, if someone found that eye. He was hinting to what happens now, 58 episodes or 57 episodes after that. So, let's fulfill his not dying wish but he, he's not here so I'll assume he died let's fulfill his dying wish and put the eye in shiny now what could this guy possibly do for us he'll spin around And I'll shut up. Almost. That was very anticlimactic. It didn't even leave a dent. However.
A report master, Link. My calculations indicate an 85% chance that the structure you, structure you uncovered houses the Triforce. Given this development, I project th that the moment for Zelda to fulfill her destiny and bring an end to demise is close at hand.